All right, so this is a scene from Clerks, and this is near the end where you kind of like had it with life. And Ethan, you're, Randall, excuse me, you, you kind of like tired of hearing the complaining from Dante. All he does is complain, complain, complain. And um, this is the scene leading up to a physical altercation between these two good friends. All right, turn off my camera. All right, so sort of take a moment connect to something honest that you relate to, to kind of root you in truth, what the, the essence is and what's going on with you guys. Whatever that vibe is, I want you to just, tend, since you guys are just both gonna be kind of charged in the scene, just take a couple of breaths, just to kind of get, remember physiologically what happens when we're filled with lots of emotion is you have that lightheadedness, the heart rate is up, the, the sweating sometimes, and you get a little bit dizzy even sometimes. And think about what you want in the scene, and now you're kind of taking that essence and putting it into your characters as Randall and Dante, and now here you are in the market, and you had it with each other. And right before you start, tap that one thing in Ethan's life, tap that one thing in Samson life, so dive into the scene using that. And now you're just going to play off each other. We have no idea what's going to happen because the scene hasn't happened. Here we go. Ready? And action. Hey, man, what's with you? I haven't said anything in like. 20 minutes what the fuck is your problem this life this life mm -hmm. why do i have this life Just have some chips or something you'll, you'll feel better no man no i'm stuck in this pit earning less than slave wages okay working on my day off dealing with every backwards fuck on the planet the damn steel shutters are locked all day i smell like shoe polish and my my Ex-girlfriend is catatonic now for fucking a dead guy. Okay, I'm going to stop you guys. I'm going to stop you. Okay, all right. So yeah. remember, this is a comedy of manners, all right? So comedy mm -hmm. of manners is one of the farces where we're poking fun at a particular segment of society. Like in a movie like Best in Show, we're poking fun at dog show people. In a movie like Waiting for Guthman, we're poking fun at people who do these little musicals in these small little towns. So this is poking fun at people who work in these little convenience stores, right? So we're talking about farce, meaning very heightened characters, very quirky characters, the outsides of society. They exist, but there's not a lot of them. So why is that important to know? That means you have to be very different from each other, completely 180 degrees different from each other. So Ethan, you got to be more similar to your guy from Breaking Bad. You know, again, just sort of like slow, calculated. Like, again, the humor of this is that we don't think that you're actually smart, but you're actually way brighter than Dante. And yet Dante has the name Dante, you know, which is sort of like this poet like type name. And it's so self-important. Who knows what your real name is, Samson? Like Dante may have taken that as a nickname to make himself feel more smart. Who knows? But in any case, you've got to be way more tightly wound, Samson. Dante, I'm gonna say Dante. Dante, you gotta be way more tightly wound. I mean, times a million. So again, these people exist, tightly wound people, people who are OCD about things, people, and, and, and on your end, Randall, people who are sort of lackadaisical and free-spirited. These people exist, and then you take all those people, and within all of those people, there's maybe one or two that are like these guys, that are the most like that. And that's when we're in farce land, not comedy, Comedy, we're talking about a normal view where if I go downtown, I'd probably find four or five, 10 people like these guys. No, it would take me a long time to find people like that. You understand? Yeah. So you've got to raise the stakes. There's more writing on this for you, Samson. More to lose, more on edge. My life sucks. I'm going to commit suicide. I can't handle it anymore. And on your end, Ethan, excuse me, Randall, like, what's the problem, man? Like, your life is good. Like, and if you just, you know, if life, you don't like life, like, change it. What's the problem, man? Just quit. That's what I do. You know, and it's so simple. You know, and Dante can't handle that. He needs things com complex. He needs it to be all like, okay, no, it's got to be this, this, and this. And you're going, dude, it's a fucking convenience store, man. Like, what is the problem? You know, it's not like you're taking the bar to get a law degree. What the fuck, dude? Just get a job at a 7-Eleven. 
you know, what is the deal? Here we go. Let's try it one more time. So turning my camera off. Ready. And action. Hey, man, what's with you? Oh, we're even. Hey, man, what's with you? Like, what is going on with you? Slow down. The slower, the funnier. Remember, we don't think you're going to be the bright guy, but you are. Hey, man, what's with you? Good. You haven't said anything in like 20 minutes. <laughs> what the fuck is your problem? This life. This life? Yeah, why do I have this life? Ah, oh, just have some chips, man. You'll, you'll feel better. All right, you oh, guys, man. Right, oh. let me stop you again. You guys are right on track with the characters now, both of you. Now, the only problem I have is you're anticipating lines. He says, this life, Ethan. Randall, excuse me. He says, this life. This life? What does that even mean? You're kind of rolling on into it. This life, like I, like I understand what you mean. The fun of it is I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay. You guys got to remind yourself, the scene hasn't happened. The scene hasn't happened. Yeah. When he says, what's up with you? You haven't spoken in like 20 minutes. And you say, what do you say, Samson? This life? Yeah. Say, this life. And what does that even mean, man? This life. What? Huh? What? What are, you, what are you even talking about, this life? What? You on drugs? What is that? This life? And you say this life, and you say what? I say, why do I have this life? Why do I have this life? And you say what? I, say, I tell him to have some chips. Yeah, which... so you need, why do you say have some chips? Why do I even have this life? And you say, have some chips. Why do you say that? Because chips make me happy. So, <laughs> happy. All right, so chips yeah. make me happy. He's a simple guy, <laughs> right? Have some chips. Whenever I'm stressed, I have a donut or some nachos. It solves everything, man. I don't even need a beer. Give me, you know, a Snickers. I'm good. You know, so I think part of it could also just be that he says, what do you say, uh, uh, Dante, this light? Why do I have this light? Mm -hmm. what you say? Yeah. So, so when he says that, Randall, I don't know what to even make of that. Uh, okay. Chips. Have some chips. I'll do it. Always does it for me. I don't know what you're even talking about in your life, but just eat chips. Does the trick. For anything, I got a hangover, chips, breakups, chips, nauseous, I want to vomit, chips. <laughs> it solves the problems. And you're going, chips, have some nachos? What the fuck? What are you talking about? Nachos aren't going to fix this. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So take your time. You got to process this stuff, you guys. You got to figure out why am I saying these lines? That's what you do in your rehearsals. One more time. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, track down with the characters. You're much more close about who they are. Action. Hey, man, what's with you? You haven't said anything in like 20 minutes. What the, what the fuck's your problem? This life. This life? Yeah. Why do I have this life? So have some chips man you, you'll feel better no man I, i'm stuck in this damn pit earning less than slave wages okay working on my day off dealing with every backwards fuck on the planet the damn steel shutters are locked all day i smell like shoe polish my ex-girlfriend is catatonic after fucking a dead guy my present girlfriend has sucked 36 dicks hey 37 you you, you count okay hold on a sec so uh very good. Much better, you guys. Why do you say 37? Do you say, hey, 37, or you just say 37? It's th 37, but so, I just... You know, yeah. Don't add the hey, because the humor of it is, oh. just so we have it clear, it's 37. Okay. 37. 37 dicks. Don't forget. It's not 36, it's 37, because you forgot you. She sucked your dick. You should be yeah. happy. You were one of the 37. You were 37. 37. And how does that make you feel, uh, uh, Dante? Thanks for telling me. Yeah. Thanks for telling me it's 37. I really appreciate it. And when he's screaming like this and having this ulcer, what I wanted from you is like, dude, like you're giving me a fucking headache. Ow, my head hurts from your end, Ethan. You know, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, like the, I use this um, example because I think it's just so perfect. 
but like those cartoons where they have the barking dog screaming at the other dog and the other dog's ears are flying backwards you yeah. know you know that's you like he's screaming and i could see your hair blowing backwards just from his voice and it's just like uh like i like my 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 head hurts from your voice right now dante can you just like chill dude i said chips do it do it for me just do it for me you guys understand yeah yeah, yeah. so you're on the right track with who they are <clears throat> on the right track now with their energy and sort of the differences between the two of you but you guys got to still work on this it's closer way closer now you guys know what to do yeah are you sure yeah i don't normally i say i don't the hay for the 30s that just i naturally said that i don't know why but it's okay just don't add it because the humor of it is that you don't say you just like 37 yeah. Compared to, hey, uh, 37, it just sort of slows that beat down. And the humor of it is you're just piping in one, like one or two words, 37. <laughs> like, like, again, the humor of it is you didn't need to say that. Do you really need to tell me it's 37 and not 36? Why do you say it? Why do you say 37? Because that's. Um... Because that's technically right, and I I think that might make him feel better. Because hey, yeah. she's she sucked here, dick too. Like everything's good. <laughs> okay, so that's one. And then I think also what you just said a moment ago. Technically, if we're going to discuss this and we're going to have a discussion, it's not thirty six. It's thirty seven. So let's base it on the correct information, Dante. Thirty seven is the number. You guys, bring it back, okay? All right. Yeah. You guys are on the right track with the scene. I, I mean, it's so much better from what you guys first did. It's moving forward. It really is. It's really funny. And now I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, and now I'm starting to get excited about the scene. I'm starting to feel like, okay, now they're, now they're getting it. Like, Samson, you are so much more the guy now. Like, when you were having a panic attack and you were saying, because I was worried that you were going to not be intense enough. But when you said 36 dicks, like, you looked like you were going to have a heart attack. And that's where you need to be. And so the <laughs> last thing you want to hear, it's a setup for a joke. 37. <laughs> you know, so the humor of that to me is not just him saying 37, but your reaction to him saying it. Like, oh my God, I'm going to strangle you. Like, this is how you help me? By saying it's one more? You understand? Yeah. Don't yes. recover in the scene. Like when he says 37, don't like, because I personally do not, I'm not in love with that actor's performance in that movie. The guy you're mm -hmm. playing, Samson. I found him to be annoying. I just, I mean, I don't see him work a lot. I haven't seen him work a lot. I would bet, you know, that gig was because he's probably friends with Kevin Smith or he happened to be an actor in his drama class. So yeah. I'm just saying like that guy, I find kind of annoying. The scene stealer is is Randall. Yeah. In that movie, it's not Dante. So I think you can do a way better version of Dante than they did in the movie. Personally, that's just my opinion. Okay. Nothing against that actor. I just found it to be annoying. So he's kind of a whiner. So. You guys got yeah. it. You know, you, know, you know what to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you wanted. So when he's freaking out, you want. You said you want more of like he's giving me a headache vibe. Yeah. Like, dude. Yeah. Like, what is the problem? Why are you even freaking out? You you work at a convenience store. What what big stresses do you, are you saving the world? What big things do you have going on that is causing you so much distress? What donut? Where the donuts go? What aisle the Seven Up goes on? Like that's your big thing. <laughs> like what are you panicking about? Life's yeah. good. You got a job. You got a girlfriend. It's all good. You don't like your job? Just quit. So easy. A plus B equals C, man. It's, just, it's cool. It's all cool. Smoke a joint. It's cool, man. Just relax. I don't do drugs. I don't, I don't smoke pot. THC, bad, 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 bad. Maybe you should do. Maybe you should do some drugs. Maybe it'd be good for your system. You should start smoking. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So, um, my, uh, I'm really happy. I know that the scene isn't done. 
I know I kept stopping you, but the, the progress of the scene is significant. So you need to know that I'm, I'm really happy with your work. I just, I can't wait to see what you guys, the real question is gonna be now, my test is, what do you do with these notes? Because I've been really specific. So you guys, it's not about you guys getting together and hacking the scene together. It's about flushing it out and understanding what's driving you, why you're saying what you're saying. If you have specific jokes and you can't meet, then you have to figure out how to plan them on your own. Like if I know that this is a punchline and I can't count on my scene partner to deliver it a certain way because we can't meet, then you're gonna have to do it on your own and kind of and you know, have an idea of the timing of it. You know, you don't know how he's gonna say 37. Maybe he just pipes it in fast. Maybe he waits a beat. I have no idea. But you don't know how the other actor's going to do it. That's kind of maybe even part of the fun because you could even plan the timing. The punch, it's pause. The punchline is 37. The pie landing is on your face, Samson. So we know when we're planning our jokes, we know that's the framing of the joke. I have no idea how he's going to say it. I just know that there can't be any pauses leading up to 37 because the pause is right before 37. So yeah. we can't plan how we're going to say it. We can't plan how we're going to feel. We can plan how we might feel. We can think intellectually what we might be thinking about the scene, perhaps. But we don't know how it's going to go because the scene hasn't happened. This is why you don't act it before today. Yeah. All right? So really good. Really good. I'm really happy with the scene. Tremendous progress. Not an easy task. You're doing better than I could have hoped for. So keep working on it, okay? Thanks, Fred. Thank you, Bob. All right. Appreciate Thank you, Fred. It.